In 2012, a Boeing 727 crashed on purpose in a desert in Mexico during a TV show. The three crew members on board parachuted out the plane and the plane crashed 140 miles an hour into the ground nose first. The plane broke into several pieces when it hit the ground. The main landing gear collapsed and the cockpit flew off during impact. After the plane crashed, scientists studied the crash and the impact it would have on passengers for future flights. Here's what they learned. In this type of crash, those who were seated to the back of the plane were most likely to go unharmed. Those in the front of the plane were more likely to be killed. Passengers near the wings could survive, but they would likely suffer injuries like broken oh no. ankles. They also found that the brakes position could cause serious leg injuries but was incredibly effective at saving lives. The best part about this story is that they used crash dummies for the study and not real passengers. Have you ever wondered why there are tiny holes in airplane windows? No, it's not for sticking the tip of your pen in, so don't do that. Most people don't know why they exist or that they do exist, but they are extremely important. These tiny holes are called bleed holes, and as the plane takes off and ascends into the air, pressure outside becomes much lower than that on the inside. This puts a lot of stress on the airplane's window. Windows. The bleed holes help regulate that pressure. So what would happen if the windows didn't have tiny holes? A window would break and would suck you straight out the window. It could also rip apart the interior of the airplanes. So leave those holes alone. Did you know that there was a plane that accidentally flew into space? In 1963, on a combined mission between NASA and the US Air Force, a plane flew into space. This made the pilot of that plane the first US citizen to go to space and it was completely accidental. This happened because of two small errors in the plane's ascent. These small errors pushed the plane past the 62 mile space boundary. Did you know that there are rocks in California that seem like they move on their own? They are known as the Salem Stones in the Death Valley Desert. The Salem Stones kept scientists puzzled for decades. Some people claim this was a supernatural phenomenon or even aliens. What makes it even more strange that these rocks are even known to weigh up to 700 pounds and even have long trails behind them in the desert. But in 2014, we actually learned the truth behind the mysterious moving rocks. It wasn't what people were expecting. After attaching them with GPS trackers, some geologists learned they don't actually move on their own. Under certain winter conditions, a combination of melting ice and wind pushes these rocks around across the desert floor. Did you know that the Earth has an eighth continent? And where it's located just might surprise you. In 1895, a geologist suggested suggested that New Zealand had a secret that was overlooked. He claimed that the country was the, actually the top of a mountain range. He said that the rest of the mountains were under the ocean. In the 1990s, satellites confirmed this was true. The full continent is almost as big as Australia. Its name is Zealandia.